and welcome to another video with me. My name is Elmo Karjalainen. You can call me this guy if my surname is a bit difficult. It's good to have you along. Today I'm talking about this guitar, the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Stratocaster and why this particular Ingve Strat is my favorite guitar. Uh, I'll be right back after this intro. <laughs> So today I'm talking about the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Stratocaster and this particular Ingve Strat. I have another one and I've owned a couple of others as well. Uh, this is basically uh, down to the fact that I've had a few comments on one video where I use this and the other Ingve Strat. People asking me why this one is my favorite. Because I said something in the video where I said that this is a far superior guitar to the other one. And I didn't really explain myself, so I did in the comments, but I thought I'd just make a video to talk about this a bit. The backstory to me buying this guitar is that a friend of mine worked in the local music store in Turku, where I live, in Finland. And they got this second hand. It was mint condition. And he said he's going to buy it, but he knows that I'm a bigger Ingve Malmsteen fan, so he let me have a uh, first option on it. So I bought it, and it was a huge stroke of luck. Now, it, the thing is that I took it to my friend, uh, who's a guitar luthier, who builds guitars for me and for other people, and repairs my guitars and all that, and he had a look at the wood uh, in the neck, and he said that the wood in the neck alone is worth more than the retail price of a new Ingve Strat. Now, as you can see, it's very nice flame maple. And uh, the thing is, that I think this guitar was built for uh, the German equivalent of NAM that's in Frankfurt. And uh, so Fender built a really top-notch guitar to show off in Frankfurt, and it somehow ended up in Finland, and little old me got to buy it. Uh, I didn't know at the time when I bought it that it was, it was such a good guitar. And uh, later on my luthier friend Sasha, hey Sasha, uh, said that it's actually the best guitar he's ever played. And he's played quite a few. And it's the best guitar I have. And I have some really good guitars. But this one is just absolutely top. And uh, basically it's not down to the pickups. Uh, it's not down to the electronics. Uh, it's all to do with the quality of construction and the quality of the wood in the guitar. And it's as simple as that. And when you play it, you notice it. Uh, it's different, of course, if you're listening, you won't know. But uh, when you play, you do know. And I've bought other Ingve Strats and I've sold them. I found another one that was really very good, so I've kept that one. Uh, just to retire this from touring because my guitars can get a bit banged up live when I play live but uh, Yeah, this is just a great guitar and it's basically down to the wood material that they've used now, I've had this guitar for ages and I've recorded a bunch of stuff with it all the death like silence stuff was done with that and my first solo album was done almost entirely on this apart from the seven string stuff and uh, even my last album, Age of Heroes, was mostly this guitar, if I remember correctly. Um, I use mahogany strats these days quite a lot as well, because I like the sound of mahogany, but this is just so great. Now, I fell in love with the scallops. It took a while, because uh, I wasn't used to them, and I was fretting chords like this, for instance. <laughs> So I was pressing down too hard, but I got used to it after a while. 
And I know that some Ingwe strats have the problem of the E string kind of slipping over the fretboard. This one doesn't have that. My other one does. But uh, yeah, it's just top notch through and through. And yeah, that's basically all I have for you. I'll play a bit for you so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like your proper Ingve Malmsteen thing. And one thing that I forgot to say, I've actually switched from the DiMarzios on my other Ingve strats to Seymour Duncan YGM Furies, but I've just kept the, the Seymour Duncans in this one, sorry, the DiMarzios in this one, because I just don't want to touch anything on this guitar. It's become like a magical thing to me. Almost like uh, the guitar in uh, Spinal Tap that Nigel Tufnell says that you can't even, you can't touch, you can't even look at it. It's never been played. Um, it's that kind of thing. And I find that I don't play it as much uh, as I maybe should because it's just, it looks so nice on the wall and I'll just kind of sit around and worship. It's, it's that good. Yeah, that's basically all I have for you today. If you have any questions about this guitar or my other guitars, uh, ask me in the comments. And uh, if you have any other comments, please let me know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And hey, support me on Patreon because that helps me make more of these videos. I'll play a bit more to end this video. It was good having you along. See you later. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>